Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is gonna be a little bit of a different type of video. Um, I have been complaining to my brother for the longest time that I haven't been able to lose weight. And I'm not even gonna lie, partly it's because I'm not eating right. And the other part is because I'm not doing the right exercises or I'm not working out consistently. So my brother decided that he is going to be my trainer. Cool. <laughs> this is what he does, this is what he's good at. And I'm so grateful that he's decided to go ahead and help me out. Uh, we decided to go ahead and film this. So he came up with, look who's in the background. <laughs> he came up with Fitness Friday. So every Friday we will be uploading new videos with different types of workouts. So if you like that type of thing, go ahead and like and subscribe now. Um, let's go ahead and get into the first video. Hey, what's up guys? This is DJ. I'm Ashley's little brother and I'm here to start this new fitness program that we're starting today with the first episode. This is going to be Fitness Friday. This is something we'll bring to you every week. I'm just showing you a couple exercises that you can do quick and easy. Just something to help with overall fitness. My personal goal for this will be to gain some flexibility, maybe a little strength, and just you know better my overall health and fitness. So uh, what we'll be doing today is a dumbbell workout and it's going to be full body. So we're going to hit a, a range of different areas. We're probably going to start up top and just work our way down. We'll add in a little ab work at the end. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to start off with a little stretching to get the bodies warmed up. So the first thing we're going to do is reach up, stretch our shoulders out, just pushing straight up. We're going to hold that for about 10 seconds. Okay, relax. All right, next we'll do a stick up. You're going to stick your arms up and push your chest out while pinching your back shoulder blades together. How long are we on this for? Do that for about 10 seconds as well. Okay, okay relax. All right, we're going to lock our fingers together. This is called a screen block. You're going to push your palms straight out. That's stretching your arms, your shoulders, and your wrist as well. Opening those fingers up. Okay, relax. Let's do a shoulder shrug, going forward. Do 10 of those. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, relax. Okay, next we're gonna do a hip twist. What you're gonna do is come this way, and you're coming right back over here. Just go left or right. We're gonna do a 20 count of that. Two. Fifteen. Twenty. Okay, relax. All right, the next thing we're going to do <laughs> is a hamstring stretch. So let's go straight down to that. Go lean forward. Try to keep those legs as straight as you can. Hold that for about ten seconds. Okay, relax. Up slowly. All right, next we're going to do a forward lunge with our right leg. So we'll just lunge forward. Keep your chest up nice and upright. Try to push through and drive through with that right, with that right quad. I can use, okay, I can use my hands to. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Yep, yep, you're trying to push through. Yep, all hips and quad. All right, relax. Move back, all right, switch to your left. Same thing. And you have a little bit more balance. Yeah, keep your back nice and straight. This is a good stabilizer stretch too. Okay. All right, now that we're good and warmed up and stretched, we're gonna jump straight into the dumbbells. I'll be using uh, 15 pound dumbbells myself. Okay. And I have some 10 pound weights. Okay, all right. The first exercise we're gonna do is we're gonna do an overhead press. So we're going to get right back into that stick up position and you're going to press up from that. We're going to do 10 reps of that. So just to press up, one, two, three. And we're going slow or can we? Mm -hmm. just, just, a, just a natural, normal pace. 
Not too fast, not too slow. Eight, nine, and 10. Okay, relax. All right, you can bring them back down to your waist. All right, next what we're gonna do is, uh, it, it's a bicep curl, but instead of a normal rest period where you would sit them at your side and you know, you can be out of control, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring ourselves to a, to a lifting stance where you, where you bring the weights in front of you. Okay. And you're gonna hold it about a quarter of the ways already up. So you, all, you should already feel that tension in your bicep. Okay. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna bring your wrist in like that, lock, pause for one second and come right back down to you, your rest stage. And you're gonna do the same with this one. Slight pause and that's it. Okay. How many are we gonna do with these? Yep. Five on each side, which will be 10 reps. That's two. That's three. Be sure to get that, that slight pause at the top. Four. Okay. And five. One more on the left. Okay, good. All right, relax. You can bring them back to your side. Next, what we're going to do is a shoulder shrug. So okay. we're going to come forward. What you want to do when you're doing shrugs, lifting weights, you almost want to bring your eyes and look to the ceiling. And what you're going to attempt to do is almost like an I don't know gesture. That, so what you do is you, you're trying to take your shoulders and almost try to pinch your ears. Okay. You can't physically do it, but that, that's the intentions that you need to have when you're doing this, this exercise. So we're going to bring up. All right. We're going to do 10 of these. Two. Three. Six, seven, eight, nine, okay, and ten. All right. Next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a bent over row. So what you what you're gonna want to do is lean forward. Okay. Lean Straight. forward. Yep. And this just, Straight back. Yep. Yep. And then all you're gonna do is almost like bring it to your waist. Yep. Right there. Okay. Pause for a slight second up top, and that's it. Ten reps of that. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, you may want to sit the weights down for a second and get yourself a little bit of recovery time. We'll do about 30 seconds of recovery time. Okay. So normally would you do like a certain amount of sets? Mm -hmm. When I do something like this, I'll, a full body workout like this, I'll go through a whole cycle okay. and then I'll just repeat it. That's how I oh. do multiple sets. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that way you don't put all the strain on that one location, you know, back to back yeah. and wear yourself out and then by the time you get to your lower body, you're worn out and you're too tired to do a, a good formed exercise. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Next, what we're gonna do? We're gonna do front raises. What's that? So you're gonna, <laughs> so you're gonna have have the dumbbells in front of you. Okay. And all you're doing is coming up forward. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you need to go lighter, it's fine. I might to go need to. Lighter. We can try. Well, I okay. might need to. Okay. Okay. You don't want to hurt your shoulders. All this. Slight pause for a second. Ten okay. of those. That's three. Four. Yeah, I can feel it shaking. Five. Shake it. Yep. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Okay. And ten. All right. That almost rest. made me. Um. Yeah, it made my. Abs engage. Yep, yep, okay. you, yep. That, Automatically. Yep, that's one of those exercises where you, where you have to lock yourself in okay. just to, you know, just to balance yourself out and keep a strong core. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, once you finish doing your front raises, we're going to transfer into a side raise. So for this exercise, I'm going to turn sideways just so we got enough room and we're not knocking each other out with these dumbbells. <laughs> okay. Okay, and all you're gonna do is that same that same stance, and just instead of doing that raise to the front, you're gonna come out to your side, straight up, same way. Okay. 
Do ten of those. One. Two. And we're not bending our arms or anything nope. like that. Nope. Nope. You want to try to keep your arms nice and straight. Keep up. Keep your core locked in. Keep your chest upright. Head looking forward. Don't want to bend your arms too much. And what what we like to call doing the chicken wing. More good ones. One, one, and two. Okay. Woo! Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now that we, now we've finished thigh raises, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go straight into a forward lunge. Okay. And what that is is that same forward lunge stretch we did, just with the weights out to our side. So make, uh, we're gonna do ten reps, five reps on each leg. Uh, we'll start with our right hand side, and all you wanna do is just come forward. You know, pushing. Pushing with your core and shoulders back straight up, looking forward, and you want to put drive through your leg and strong quads with this. Okay. All right, we'll start with our right. Do five of those. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Now we'll alternate to our left leg. Same exact thing. Five of those. One. Two, three, four, okay, and five. Oh. All right. Next, what we'll do, I call this a, a cowbell squat. Okay. So you're going to take your weights, put them in front of you. You want to almost get in a deadlift stance where you're a little bit wider. I say you, your base should be a little bit wider than shoulders width. And all you're going to do is just squat forward as if you were picking up a cowbell. So we'll do 10 of those. Get a nice bend on your knees. Don't lean too far forward. You're going to push through your heels when you're doing squats. Keep that chest nice, nice up and tight, strong core. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, good job. You set the waist down for a second and rest. All right, we're gonna get another thirty-second rest in. Uh, our next exercise that we're gonna do, we're gonna go straight into abs. You can use the dumbbells for abs or a weight plate, whichever you prefer. Dumbbells is fine. Okay, guys, you've done great so far. Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to incorporate some ab exercises into the workout. We've already done arms, shoulders, back, upper body, the lower body, our legs. So we're going to finish up with some abs. For these ab exercises, you only need one dumbbell, not both of them. And the first one that we're going to do, we're going to start off with a simple sit-up. So we'll, we'll come down, come down to, to a rest state, and what we're going to do is when we come into our sit up, instead of bringing our arms forward, we're going to push the dumbbell as if we were lifting it to the ceiling. So we'll do 10 of those. We'll come up like this. That's one. Two. Make sure to come down nice and slow. Three. Four. Okay. Sit to your side and come back up. Alright, the next one that we're going to do is a Russian twist. Uh, normally you could use a medicine ball, but for an all dumbbell workout, a dumbbell <laughs> works just as fine. Okay. So, what you're going to do is bring yourself into that, that crunch form. We're going to lift our feet up, and all we're going to do is just alternate from side to side. Okay. We'll do 10 on each side, so that'll be a 20 count. Okay. We'll start going to our right. 
Put right. the feet up. Yep, yep. Hold your feet up. You can lock them in straight or you can wrap them. I prefer to wrap my ankles. Okay. All right. Start with our right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yeah, that one's a doozy. All right, guys, we got one last ab, ab exercise. What we're gonna do is similar to that very first, uh, that sit up that we did where we were adding that dumbbell press up into the overhead. The only difference between this one and that sit up is we're gonna start with a flat, with a flat body, the dumbbell, I'd say about, about a half foot to a foot over your head. You're going to have your arms bent. What you're going to do is hold the dumbbell on each side. And you're going to bring your arms and the dumbbell straight up. And they're going to meet halfway with your feet. You're going to bring your feet, rise your feet up as well. A little, a little something like this. Up and back down. We'll do a 10 count of that. Okay. 10 count? Yeah, 10 count. <laughs> Come on. You're going to start straight out. First Fitness Friday full body dumbbell workout routine. And what you want to do is cycle through those through those sets, uh, working your upper body, core, lower body. You want to do about three to four sets. Uh, you can up from 10 reps to maybe 12 reps. You can do 15. You can go lower. Uh, you know, on the knee be case. And um, you can use lighter weights if, if lighter weights will help you get those 10 reps in. And you gradually be able to improve and add more strength and add heavier weight or more reps, whichever you would like to do. And that sums up our first Fitness Friday. I think that was, that was fun. A little bit different. I definitely learned um, uh, some new moves, especially on the mat. But um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please, please. We'll see you next Friday for Fitness Friday. Bye, guys. Thanks, guys. See you. <laughs>